Welcome to this Led Zeppelin classic. This song kind of developed through the years and we're going to cover Pat's Delight which was an early version they did in the 68-69 tour and uh, then it became Moby Dick and um, later I read it became a song called Over the Top which was uh, basically Out on the Tiles opening riff and I've done Out on the Tiles so you can look up that riff if you want and play along with that version of Moby Dick, if you will. So to start this song out with, we're in drop D tuning. So our, our E string is tuned down a full step to D, and everything else is the same. So to start the song out with, we're going to hit that drop D, and then go into a riff right here at the fifth and third fret of the fifth string. We're going to hit it twice on five, and the second time it'll be a pull-off. Then you go to the sixth string, go from the fifth fret back to your open uh, D. So he's that, this is real, you're picking it kind of hard. It's, it's not a gentle song, so you want to kind of attack the strings, that'll help get you the tone. Okay, so the next lick will be based on a G, okay? So we're going to hit, because we're tuned down, we're going to be on the fifth fret for a G here. And then we'll go to the fourth string here on the fifth fret and hit it twice with the second time we'll pull off. Then we hit open um, fourth string. Then we go to the first fret of the fifth string and we'll go back from three to one. So again, together, one, two, three, four. Now when we move to the A, what we want to do is hit the fifth string open, okay? And then we're going to go to the seventh fret of the fourth string, hit that once, and then again with the pull off to five. And then we're going to go to seven on the five, to seven on four, and we'll actually hit four twice, but there's just kind of a slight pause. So it should sound like this. Then we go back to 7 on 5, and then the 5th fret of the 4th string to 7. And then there's this kind of a slight ghost note, it's an open. Then what we do is come to 5 on the 4th string, move positions, okay, you want to use your middle finger here. Um, we're going to hit that five, five times on the fourth fret to the third fret and then we'll end up on five on the um, fifth string and then just lay your finger down and slide from five on the third string up to seven. Then come back to uh, five on that third string and then you'll go seven, five to three on the um, fourth string and that gets you in position to do the lick over again. I've seen a lot of people do bands and some other ways to play. Um, I don't think he's bending it. Watching him at the Royal Albert I see him sliding from five to seven and it really sounds good if you play with the track. Slow it down a little bit. You can really hear it's a slide. So, a little bit up to tempo. One, two, three, four. Alright, so 
I know it's a lot of notes, and we'll take it together slowly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> sound and you're back into the um, rhythm of the song and we'll go over the leads next okay the next uh, the first solo should sound like this so let's take this lead in parts the first part should be this so what we're doing there is kind of a Chuck Berry thing we're gonna hit the 12th fret of the third string with a bend up then we'll hit the second string and then both strings. All right. Then you come back to the 12th fret of three, give it a bend up and a release to 10, end up on a fourth string, then you come down to the 12th fret of the 10th string. So we have this so far. So you end up on 10 on the third string, then you'll hit 14 on the fourth string. So all together, one, two, three, four. Now you'll hit 14 on that fourth string again. Then you go back to 10 and 14. And then what you do is just kind of lay your finger down and hit the third and a little bit of the second. It's not a full. It's more of a. So it's 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 slight. As you're playing this, don't worry about that. Just kind of worry about the third string. But if you catch the second, that's great. All right. So we have this all together. One, two three, four. All right, that's the very first lead. The next lick will be this. All right, so kind of hard to do, but it takes some practice. What he's doing here will be at the 13th fret we're going to bend the second string up and hit those together. That'll be six times. Then you're just going to hit that 13th fret of the first string. And then you're going to rake against the first and second string and land on the third string at the 12th fret. Okay, it's tough. It's it's a hard lick, but damn, it's cool. So let's do it together slowly. One, two, three, four. All right. All right. The next lick you'll hear him do will be this. All right. So what he's doing there? We're going to be in the first position. We're going to hit the third fret of the first string, pull off to one and open, and we'll do that on the second string also. Then we have to kind of move down just a half step, and we're going to hit four two open on the third string, and then we'll go to three two open on the fourth string. All right, so all together, one, two, three, four. Repeat it. This time we'll go to the fifth string and do three two open. All right, so let's do that together. One, the whole thing. One, two, three, four. All right, so now we're ready for the last lick. The very last lick you'll hear will be this. Alright, so what he's doing there, we're going to start on the 5th fret of the 5th string, hit 7, slide that up to 9, then hit 7, 9 on the 4th string, 
and then we'll hit the third string at seven. That's the first half of it. All right, then we're going to take off again. So we're going to actually hit seven again to nine on that third string, slide up to 11, hit 10 and 12, and then back to 10 on the first string and land on the very last note, which will be 13 on the second string. So we have this slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, so together a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. What he does is each lick um, from the intro with a stop. Stop after that open sixth string. Then we come back to the G. Stop on the G. Then we go to the A. Then you go to a D, C, and then A. Alright, so that is Moby Dick. Let's go through Pat's Delight next. Okay, for Pat's Delight, they did this um, very loosely. It, there's a couple different versions, and some are better and some are worse than the other as far as sound. Um, this is, I believe, from the Fillmore in 69. I'll put a link to what song I'm playing below the video so you know. This was, I believe, named after Bonham's uh, wife. <laughs> song out with we're going to be on the fourth string from seven to the third string at five with um, some bend and vibrato and then we're going to go seven five seven on the fourth string again and that's one time through now we'll do three of those then we're going to hit seven again on that fourth string and then we'll do some pull-offs, seven, five, open, four of those. On the fourth one, you'll land back on seven on the four. So we'll take it from seven on the fourth string to the pull-offs. Again, there's four of them, and then the last one, you land on seven on the fourth. One, two, three, four. And then you're back into the lick, that, that seven. So that's the main lick of the song. Now, um, they change it up, like I said, in some of the different versions. There's one where he just goes from A to uh, G. And he's using the uh, bottom half of the chord. So we're just, we're not playing. We're starting on the A on the fourth. All right, and then we go A to C. And then back to A to G. So with that said about the chords and the version that I'm doing, once he finishes the lick, he goes up to the, um, and again, they don't do this every time, but in this version he does, he goes up to the 12th fret on the 3rd string, and the uh, 2nd string will be at the 10th fret. We're going to do a unison bend. We're going to bend that 3rd string with the second string steady. And I think it's three. Now it's four. Then you move.
move it down a full step and hold that. Then you go again um, to the 12th fret. And then you're going up to um, 15 and 13. And then back to 12. So those are, um, let's see, 10, 9, 7. And he's right away back into the lick when you do that last uh, set at 7 here. And then, again, in this version, he goes to the A to G. And then to A to C. And then he goes to A. And then you hear the band kind of stops and the bass goes. He's just doing some walk down notes on the fourth string from five, four to three. It's kind of like they hadn't had this song down and they were doing it real loose. And then really all they do to end this song is just an A. Like I said, it's really done loosely. So, so I hope that helps everyone some early page and, and kind of see how they formed that song.